All right, so a little update on the Predator generator test. Uh, we ran this the other night. Uh, it's quiet, it runs well, but one of the issues I've had with both this one and a prior Predator generator is that when I uh, have an adapter plug to plug the 120 volt output of the generator into an RV that has a 240 volt plug, the RV would only recognize 60 volts per leg and that really kind of messed things up. It was kind of browning out. So did a little bit of research on this and come on in close, take a look at what we did. So this is a temporary setup right now, but what we're doing is we're bonding the neutral and the ground together. And that's what this plug is doing because these generators have what's called a floating ground or sorry, a floating neutral. So there was 60 volts here, 60 volts here. And you know, ground was the zero reference. By bonding these two together, now I get 120 volts and then zero and zero. So I'm gonna go ahead and start it up and show you on my oscilloscope here. Right now there's no voltage, there's no power coming through. So we'll go ahead and start it up. And if you take it close up here, you'll see right now I've got 124 volts and you can see it's a perfect sine wave. I take my meter, let me show you here. So if I take this and now go meter on this side, you'll see it's zero and there's no power whatsoever because we are bonded to the ground. And then if I look at this plug here, the RV plug on this side, you can see we've got the 124 volts, perfect sine wave. And I go to the other side here, we are off, so zero volts. So this is the solution if you're going to plug into a larger RV, is you need to get a neutral to ground bond. And if I turn on, uh, actually look right now, so if I pull this out, now take a look at this, and you can see it shows it's about 60 volts, and the sine wave is really dirty. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this guy back in, it off as to not shock myself so I'm gonna plug that back in and then start it up and now you can come back here and see we've got 124 volts nice sine wave and I'll go ahead and turn a load on here I've got this on So that's really the solution. What I plan on doing on this is I'm actually going to take the front panel off and internally wire to bond the neutral and the ground together. That way it's always like that. I don't have to use that little plug to connect those two. So that's the solution I found and uh, excited for the future use of this generator. Thanks guys. Have a great day.